Here are 8 tips for finding the best keybinds in Fortnite, presented by Fortnite Master. Good key bindings are the foundation for good gameplay, but finding the optimal key bindings can be time consuming. In this video, we'll give some guidelines you should follow when setting your key bindings, examples of top players' key binds, and include a few ways to practice your new binds and playgrounds. Without wasting any time, let's get started. Key binds refer to specific keys you use to perform actions in game, like shooting and building. Movement key binds, for example, are always bound to WASD, while shooting and aiming down sight are bound to left and right click. These are your core key binds and shouldn't need changing. Other key binds like your weapon slots, building, and edit buttons are all key binds that you should think about changing. The default bindings for these can work, but aren't necessarily optimal. Changing them could make certain things easier to execute in-game. Trying to find the best key bindings may feel overwhelming at first because every player seems to have different preferences. There are, however, patterns that almost every pro player and streamer follows when it comes to binds. Ultimately, you should test different setups and stick with key bindings that are comfortable for you and work well with your gameplay. Before we talk about specific key binds for weapon slots, building, and editing, we need to distinguish the most valuable keys on your keyboard. The most important keys are those that are closest to your movement buttons because they're the easiest to reach. This includes keys like Q, E, F, Z, X, C, V, and 1, 2, 3, and 4. You should try to bind these keys to actions you use most often, like main weapon slots, building, and editing. It's also important to recognize the value of left shift, caps lock, and tab. These are three more important keys that can be quick and easy to hit once you get used to it. Many of your favorite players and streamers also use mouse buttons for extra accessibility binds. The most common mouse buttons are mouse button 4 and mouse button 5, which are usually two buttons on the side of the mouse. Some mice have more than that, but we're going to stick with just two mouse binds in this guide. Unfortunately, not all mice have extra buttons and this might not be accessible to everyone. However, if you do have a mouse with extra buttons, mouse button 4 and 5 are pretty easy to hit with your thumb and should be considered additional important keys. They work quite well for any of the four building key binds or weapon slots. First, you want to unbind Q. This key is much more useful for other stuff, and you never need to use that button because you can just swap to a specific build slash weapon to achieve the same effect. Your pickaxe is bound to F by default. We recommend rebinding this because F is one of the easiest keys to reach, making it great for something like edit. A decent workaround is to move your weapon slots to 2 to 6 and bind your pickaxe to 1. If this doesn't feel comfortable, try checking out the pickaxe bind that some of your favorite players use. The use button is bound to E by default. Changing this bind is more of a matter of preference. If you feel that E can be more useful for a build or weapon, you can try rebinding it to an extra mouse key or another key relatively close to WASD. Myth and Cypher PK, for example, have use bound to V so they can have E bound to an important build or weapon. You should turn on sprint by default too. It's good in general and frees up a valuable key in left shift. Crouch is a good bind for this key, which will free up left control for something like auto run. Now that we know a little more about the important keys and default binds, let's talk about your building keybind specifically. The default binds are Z, X, C, V, which aren't horrible, but we would recommend playing around with them to find the most comfortable combination for you. For building keybinds like your wall, floor, ramp, and pyramid, keep them on your most important keys like Q, E, Z, F, C, V, mouse button 4, or mouse button 5. Finding the right combination of these binds is a matter of trial and error, and may take some time testing in Playground. Your edit button should be bound to a key that's extremely accessible and can be hit accurately multiple times in a quick session. That's why many pros and streamers choose F for their edit, because it sits right next to the key that your pointer finger naturally sits on. Any of the other valuable keys mentioned previously will work too, as long as you are comfortable making quick edits with your chosen key. If you're using a mouse with more than two buttons, stay away from having more than two building binds on your mouse. While mouse buttons are convenient, many more advanced builds require you to quickly click a sequence of keys. With more than two builds on your mouse, some of these become unnecessarily difficult. Default binds for weapons are F for pickaxe and 1 to 5 for weapon slots. These aren't horrible, but you might want to change some of them if you're having trouble hitting any of the number keys or you want to use F for another important bind like edit. In our experience, 1 to 4 are the easiest to hit of all the number keys. So if you want your pickaxe and weapons bound to numbers, use 1 to 4 for your pickaxe, AR, shotgun, and SMG slots. 
You want your main weapons to be on number keys that are the easiest to reach because these are the weapons that you'll be using mid-combat in intense scenarios that require fast decision making and action. Furthermore, you want to make sure these keys are easy for you to hit quickly and accurately. It's very important to be able to swap between your shotgun and SMG seamlessly, so make sure you have them binded close to each other. This reduces the amount of mental effort required in those high pressure fights. Binding your weapons to keys other than number keys is an option too, although this will require you to play around with your key binds a bit more. If you're going to do this, keep your AR, shoddy, and SMG bound to your most important keys. Your 4th and 5th slot, which are usually reserved for weapons like snipers, explosives, or healing items, can be bound to keys that are a little further from WASD. After you figure out building, editing, and weapon slot key binds that are comfortable, it's easier to choose the rest of your binds with the remaining available keys. Keys like T, G, B, 5, and 6 are great for things like trap slot, rotating building, repairing building, etc. One of the most daunting things about setting key binds is knowing where to start. A good starting point would be to look at what some pro players do, since their key binds are tested on the daily and have been refined over a long period of time. We think Ghost Bizzle's key binds are a great example, as they're more similar to the defaults than other players. All four of his building pieces are bound to keys immediately surrounding movement, Q, C, V, and X. His pickaxe and weapons are bound to the default 1 to 6. It's hard to question their effectiveness with Bizzle being one of the top pros in terms of prize money earned. If you are interested in other pro players keybinds, check the description below for links to keybinds used by Ninja, Myth, and Bizzle, as well as their own Fortnite master keybinds. Remember, the pro players keybinds aren't set in stone. If something about them is a little uncomfortable, feel free to swap it up to make it comfortable for yourself. The first thing when testing new keybinds is to make sure you can do everything you want while keeping your movement smooth. You shouldn't need to stop moving to build or take out close range weapons. Also, remember that if you have to change your keybinds, getting used to new keybinds always sucks. Practicing in playground is only useful to figure out patterns and getting muscle memory down. Getting accustomed to your new keybinds will take playing and dying embarrassingly in real games. Thank you all for watching this video. On the right, you can watch another guide made by us. On the left, hover over the Fortnite Master icon to subscribe. Finally, comment down below which guide you want to see next. From over here at Fortnite Master, my name is The Saved One, and we're out. Peace.